So as has been mentioned previously, Georgia has a lot of really cool small downtowns. And today, the city of Crabapple, or Crabapple, if you want to pronounce it incorrectly, is doing their Crabapple uh, art fair and craft uh, uh, show. So Little Miss Beautiful back there and I decided that we wanted to come check it out and we're bringing you along with us. And in typical Tally fashion, I got Doris Day parking. She did get Doris Day parking. Show how close they are to the street. There's the street and there's the car. So, so we're gonna go check this out and we invite you to join us. My wife is decked out in exactly everything you need for a craft fair, a big old hat and a big old bag. I have done this once or twice before. This is not your first rodeo. And there goes the shuttle bus leaving us behind. Thank you, Aspen Limousine Service, for not picking us up. We appreciate that. <laughs> Looks like we're walking. Just over the last few years, the downtown area of Crabapple has really kind of exploded in size. Um, restaurants, housing, businesses of all kinds have really started to pop up in this area. So it's kind of cool to see uh, this little art fair taking place. Yeah. My wife looking cute or what? She's just the most adorable. Thumbs up for my wife. That... Oh, thank you, baby. So that wasn't bad, just a five minute walk from where we parked and here's the entrance of the festival. And yeah. Let's check it out. Welcome to Krabappel Fest. <laughs> By the way, you can commit a crime of any sort in the rest of Milton today because all the cops are right over there. there. <laughs> right over there. These are the awesome Krabappel Fest t-shirts. Very cool. And no, we're not encouraging you to commit any crimes of any kind. Have to put that disclosure. Yes, she totally is. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, look at how far down wow. it goes. About two blocks. What's up? Look at that. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, they got Georgia Tech. Yeah. Kelly loves Georgia Tech. I am Kelly with Curb Happy, and we do all custom creations out of wood. Our you have their logo in there, too. Baby of our business is our wood max, which you just saw, but we also do some other fun stuff. Um, we can do cake toppers, and anything that we do, we can do custom. Um, we do earrings, which you can see the smiley faces are my favorite. Um, some trivets here, maps. We do custom house portraits. Nice. It's so simple as just sending me a picture of your house. Awesome. And these are all laser cut, right? They are laser cut with a boss laser. And that's amazing. And we saw you, our first time seeing you was last year. Yes. And since then, you guys have kind of grown up. You've gotten uh, the Alfreda Marriott, as I understand. Yeah. A little bit of action yeah, there. Yeah, we're in a couple of stores now. We just opened up our own booth at the Painted Tree Boutique, which is like a whole artisan market. So yep, near our place. We're branching out. It's been really, really good. Well, cool. Yes. You do amazing work, and Thank it's so you. awesome getting to see y'all out here today. Thank you. Thank you. So this wood laser cutting is at Metro Atlanta, so anybody that drives in our traffic can appreciate this. Which one's peach tree? Sorry, which one's not peach tree? <laughs> this is impressive. That's very <laughs> impressive. I'm so happy I found this gift. I'm wondering if these are hand uh, hand carved uh, handles. I bet they are. It's for one sun knife design. So. Oh yeah. That's wow. Of course, right next to the knives, you have coloring pillows. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Especially if you had somebody in the hospital or recovering and they was a little bored and also wanted to stay comfy. Is that a hint? Color your pillow. Cute idea. Hey, Tal. Hey, baby. What kind of plumbing do you want? I want just adequate plumbing. You don't want above average plumbing? I would like above average. You know what I want? I want superior plumbing.
So um, tell me about uh, water oak glass art. I am a stained glass artist. I've been doing stained glass for 21 years. Nice. I started doing fused glass jewelry about five years ago, and then the mosaics came about in the year of COVID. Okay. Everything seems to come about in the year of COVID. So. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite things that, that, that you create? What's what's the item that you most well, enjoy? Well, I'm enjoying the mosaics now. I can get more definition and it's more of a challenge. Um, you know, I've been doing stained glass 21 years. It's something so new, right? It's something yeah. new. It's a challenge. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Good, beautiful pieces. Thank you. Yeah, it's like you. That's my newest invention. Oh, cool. Oh, that's jazzy. I had to come up with something for the grandkids that would um, be cool when they're 20 years old and they didn't want to hide it from their friends, you know? So it was kind of a thought on a lot of as a Georgia yeah. Tech fan. Yeah. Yeah. Or a beekeeper. Yeah. 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 That's very that's cool. Very cool. That's awesome. We get a real quick shot of their car, but we're going to take that with us as well. And you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Faucets, yeah. Faucets for displaying items on. And so tell me about Just One Africa. We are a nonprofit that serves in Kenya. We're based here in Alpharetta, Georgia. And we partner with leaders in Kenya who care for vulnerable kids. And so we work with them to learn what their vision is and their goals are to care for children uh, from hard places and how they need the resources to feed and clothe and educate, provide um, counseling and care uh, so they can grow up in a loving family and home. Sometimes be able to go back home to their families. And so the solutions, you know, might be agriculture or education or something that's income generating. Uh, the first thing we look at is clean water issues to make sure that they've got access to that so that way they don't have disease and, and sickness. Clean water seems to be a real big deal and we see we, we hear a lot about yeah. issues with that. It's it's crazy that in, in the 21st century, that's still a problem. It is. It's crazy to know that we have that today here at the festival. You know, we have access to plenty of clean water, and none of us woke up worrying about amoebas or dysentery or typhoid. Um, and so I'm grateful to be able to share the story with you and yeah. so many other people yeah. through our products. Absolutely. Are all the products in your booth made from? Um, yeah, all the beads here are made out of recycled magazines, the colorful ones by moms that we work with in Kenya. And each bead um, is made um, different widths and lengths, and that creates the size of the bead. So like the bracelet I'm wearing, it's a triple wrap bracelet, and every bead is based on the color of what was on the paper. And when that paper wow. is gone, so is the bead. Uh, some of them are solid colors, and you know they can duplicate them, but the ones that are multicolored are limited edition. So the, the moms can get jobs, and uh, we use the proceeds from the sales back into our clean water program. So every bracelet or pair of earrings, like I'm wearing, uh, creates 200,000 gallons of clean water. Wow! Uh, so that's significant, and it's empowering. So. And I just I just noticed it now makes sense. Their faucets yep. that you've got going here—it's all yeah. representation of the the clean water. Yes. If people want to learn more about Just One uh, Africa, where can they go? Uh, they can look us up online, uh, justoneafrica.org. And if you are not local to this festival, you can shop us online. There's a shop link on our website, and we'll ship directly to your door. Yep. All righty. You liking it? What can you tell us about your product? Well, it's all natural, all low sodium, no MSG. All right, uh, it's good on beef, pork, chicken, fish. Really, really good on any type of vegetables. Save corn, squash casserole. Awesome. Do you just mix it with um, sour cream or what? Make it with sour cream and mayo. So we do taste the flavor. Okay. 
What's been your favorite so far, babe? The first one. The three, first one? The three bear barbecue wrap. Oh. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try that one right now. Sad. Delicious. Take him. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Yeah, no, that's really, really good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I have a production center in North Cross. Okay. And a smaller one in Marietta. Nice. Um, been in business now over 15 years. Always online. Uh, we deliver locally shipped nationally. My sister Kathy, my Hi. assistant and friend Hello. Regina. She's my bakery for me. Regina's too busy for us. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> See what I have to deal with on a day to day basis. Like yeah. <laughs> no more than usual. So, yes. this year we've done six farmers, we're doing six farmers markets a week. Wow. Um, it's kind of winding down. We make five to seven hundred pounds of turtles a year for oh, habitat wow. for the fundraiser. That's a homemade care amount for those. We also do about 35 pounds of peanut butter fudge. Oh, there's I your love, weakness. I love fudge, yeah. <laughs> there's yeah, your weakness. My husband does all of my photography work, so everything's nice. on, the, on the website. Nice. We do, um, we have corporate accounts. One of our clients will ship this year again a couple hundred pecan pies to their client I list. I guess prices are, prices are like $10. <laughs> Not the nine inches; those are yeah. our smaller ones. Smaller ones. Mm -hmm. okay. The six inches. I mean, it's still That's a nice size. Yeah. Good, still a good size pie. And um, yeah. Pre-orders are encouraged it's naturally. Nice to meet yeah. You. So, so what's your next festival you're gonna do? Well, we are currently still doing Milton's Farmers Market up here on Wednesdays from three to six. We okay. Be doing only there. And then Alpharetta every Wednesday, um, every Sunday. Saturday morning from 8 30 to noon. Okay. Um, we are yet to check out either of those. Yeah, we need to check those really, out. We got to check really those nice, out. Really nice. Markets. Yeah. So, yeah, we um, do dessert tables, weddings, all of that kind of stuff. Good. Corporate awesome. accounts. Okay. I just want to point out that this place is so. Uh, uh, amazing and definitely one we wanted to check out because we got here and they had no samples left zero they're like no we're done not even samples Suck yeah they're, they they were done out. they're like you have absolutely you have sanitizer and photos <laughs> and i had to clap what we have I what we have i was like congratulations ladies all that lola's got left are dreams for people that's it <laughs> it's like you must have a good product if you have nothing left because we oh be honest we brought all of this today we had sweet potato coconut custard pecan wow. chocolate chip Chocolate fudge. We had um, peach cobblers. Y'all sell out of the farmers market too? Most of that. Yes. Okay, well y'all gotta bring more supplies <laughs> then. I mean, this yeah. Now I have to ask, speaking as you know, a, a foodie, what is your favorite thing that you make? What is your favorite item? And what is my answer? We don't make anything. We don't make anything. We don't yeah, that's a great answer. So I'll tell you the great longest answer. products we made would be our sweet potato, coconut custard, and pecan. That's what I started the business okay. with. Okay. Um, but we we are very truly blessed with all of our products because I actually would allow my customers to dictate what we make. Okay. So we have customers often ask us for things I've never made, like a sugar pot. <laughs> and they can find you online. Yes, at Lola's SugarPieBakery.com. Facebook the same. Twitter, L Sugar Pie Bakery, awesome. I believe. Awesome. And then our phone number is six seven eight Pie, which is seven four three one four five six. Love it. Awesome. Well, Thank you so much ladies. for your time. Thank you appreciate guys. it. I appreciate it. So what a great time that we had at Crab Apple Fest. It was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. We saw a lot of cool merchandise from a lot of neat independent vendors. We got to see some really cool food. We got to taste a really cool food. And we went to one place that was so good, they ran out of food. So we definitely look forward to meeting up with them in the future. Speaking of the future, we've got another wrestling adventure coming up. We've got the coming country and festival and fair coming up. That's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to stay tuned. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and please hit that like button. It really, really helps us out. If you enjoyed yourself, please spread the word. Your word of mouth is the best compliment that we could get. And until next time, this is Alex reminding you that everything is an adventure with the right people. So go out and find your people. Take care.